Michigan Republican has declared war on facts and the people who dare to spread them. Uh, now, the Detroit News is reporting that Michigan Representative Matt Maddock filed a new bill called the, quote, Fact Checker Registration Act, which would apparently force fact checkers to register with the state, i.e. big government, uh, and would subject them to $1,000 daily fines if they're found to have made mistakes. Uh, now, remember, this is for this is for this is for registration for fact checkers. But when it comes to gun registration, that that's against your Second Amendment rights. Wow. OK, then. Uh, now, the Detroit News reports that the bill requires qualifying fact checkers to file proof of a one million dollar fidelity bond with the Secretary of State's office, which will be tasked with developing the form and manner of registration and filing, reports the Detroit News. An affected person could bring a civil action in any county district court to claim the bond for any wrongful conduct that is a violation of the laws of the state. If a judge finds the affected person suffered demonstrable harm, from something written by a fact checker, the fact checker could be hit with fines of a thousand dollars a day until they correct the record. Snowflake baby. That's what this is. And, and you can chalk that up to a fact check, by the way. Fact check, this guy's a snowflake. Baby sad. Uh, I mean, what whatever happened to the free marketplace of ideas? Hmm? Hmm? And to challenging utter falsehoods. I mean, you're going to tell me that you want to find fact checkers for calling out ridiculous lies spread more often than not by conservatives. Like yourself. There, there's no way that's not going to backfire in your face. Ima okay, uh, imagine that. Okay, Fox News. Fox News lies all the time. Fact checkers, right? So now conservatives will point out the one or two times that uh, New York Times will, will will report something wrong. And then a couple of days later, they'll be like, oh, sorry, we have printed a, we've either printed a, a, a retraction uh, or we have taken this down. We have uh, fixed this, okay? When does Fox News ever apologize for lying? Almost never, unless they're getting sued by Dominion. And this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And, here, and here's the thing, though. This won't hurt conservatives because in order to prove demonstrable harm, well, you got to go to court. You got to hire lawyers. You got to, you know, uh, go you know, and spend all this this money on fees. And, 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 you know, that's not something people that are harmed by conservative misinformation are usually able to do. Okay. Uh, and so... What it would do, though, is it sure would stop would-be fact-checkers who don't have the resources from being able to fact-check obvious and, and call out obvious lies. It would absolutely chill any effort to correct the record. Which is the point. Republicans don't want to be fact-checked on their lies. They know the facts, and the facts are generally not on their side. And, and by the way, how would you go, uh, you know, a, a, around enforcing that anyway? What are you going to target media outlets that report on fact checks or do fact checking of their own? Is, is that what you're going to do? Will shows like mine have to register with big government? Why are you growing big government, Mr. Maddock? Getting into people's lives with your overreach, your anti First Amendment bullshit? No, this is fascism. Remember, fascism isn't just goose stepping authoritarians running concentration camps. It begins with outlawing actual real information, burning books, punishing people who fact check politicians uh, and political correctness, which despite the twisting of the meaning by a lot of conservatives actually refers to hiding truths that make politicians look bad. Oh, this bit of information about homelessness and unemployment makes me look bad. Hide it. Why don't we tell anybody who's homeless uh, or, or why don't we tell other people that anybody's homeless is homeless by choice? That way it makes them look bad not us, for pushing policies that make people homeless. Not because, you know, paying jobs are terrible and the cost of living is too high. No, no, no. We just want to blame them 
so that we can not get blamed for it. Uh, and you know what? That's politically correct. Not factually correct. Politically correct. And what conservatives, by the way, also mean is that anybody who disagrees with me is being politically correct. Cancel culture. There's also an alarming number of conservatives who just want to simply say the N-word without any consequences. Honestly. And before they talked about, like I said, cancel culture, this is what they went to, PC culture. The PC police have stopped me from saying what I want to say. Actually, no, nobody stopped you from saying it. It's just now, if you want to say those things, you want to say hateful things, it comes with consequences. But this story, wanting to drag people who do fact checks for a living against powerful uh, uh, the powerful through ridiculous litigation that they would likely win anyway, is indicative as to how conservatives don't actually believe in free speech or a free press or the First Amendment. They don't think, you know, it applies to anybody else but them. And it really means that, you know, what they want to do is they think that they should be able to go and call some of the N-word on Twitter a private platform and not get booted off. That's what they think free speech is. That's really it. That said, this is not constitutional. Democratic Michigan State Senator Jeremy Moss predicted that Maddox's anti-fact-checking bill would get shot down by courts, even if it managed to pass. He said, quote, this is an affront to the First Amendment. True. 100%. Why you got to be against the Constitution, Mr. Maddox? Don't you believe in free speech? Obviously not, because you're supporting this. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.